that's horrifying. Oh, I'm Yandra. I forgot my yeah, microphone. My microphone. Oh, my. We should practice uh -oh. saying that backwards, and then we could be one of those uh, rock songs where they say something demonic backwards. Ava, yeah. Man, I wonder yeah. what that sounds like backwards. Back when uh, computers were still new and you mm -hmm. had sound recorder on your old uh, <laughs> compact presario. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, your old presario, eh? Yeah, compact presario. You uh, you could put your your voice in there and then play it backwards, and I would try to talk backwards, and it never worked because you can't just make noises. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Well, uh, did I, you just make noises and think it was backwards, or did you try to pronounce words backwards and then replay them? Yes to all. Ah, fantastic. Good. I feel so short. Yes, yeah, we you're are short, short on this scene so that the intro works and right, you don't have yeah. to squat. I even did the push into the chair. God. Throw it on the ground. Better now. So... <clears throat> Well, anyways, uh, so you missed uh, an important episode yeah, yesterday. Yeah, Tom filled me in. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, Edgeworth is back, and that's all that matters. Mm -hmm. I did not know that part. I Holy was shit! The reveal Holy secret. shit! Why do I leave anything to you? Because I was keep. I, was, I know something called surprise, tact, and uh, and and, uh, uh, and and not words. Well, how is he gonna words. find out? It's only gonna come back. He fucking died. Well, we I, were gonna talk about it. I got some things to talk about. Yeah. I got to talk about this. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Hey, Steve, what up? What's up? Sorry for my weirdness during a last AA stream. I was a bit loopy from a cold. Oh, Yo, mood for everybody. It's fine. Me. Fine. Are we, are we each other? Probably. Are we any? Wait a minute. Ooh. Oh, Robert. Got a raise. Saren, some good vibes. Oh. Hey. I think you upgraded your membership too. So let's, Congrats. we're going to start a giveaway well, thank for you. you. What? Freaking, first of all, thank you, Steve Design. Then thank you so much, Robert. Uh, and thanks for uh, upping uh, your membership. Uh, which, which star am I grabbing here? I couldn't find it because YouTube doesn't have the best way of organizing uh, yeah, it yet. Yeah. I'm thinking Golden Waffle. Yeah. And Ooh, I'm nice. also think, er, I'm gonna say that uh, thank you, YouTube is getting better. Uh, yes. I've, I've been pe playing around with their back Oops. end a bit and things seem to be actually moving and upgrading. I, in fact, opened chat today. And Clay, what do you think it said? <clears throat> Super chats now have stickers. Oh, they do. What yes. does that mean? Awesome. I don't know actually. <laughs> I just said you can now. They talked about it at VidCon. Yeah, you can do like it seems like something's gonna happen if you super chat. Uh, I think you can that's make what a choice. Barbara was doing, but it didn't quite work when she did it. Yeah. I think she was trying to announce it to us. Which yeah, is I think cool. she was like, "Yo, yeah, look at this," and it didn't do. And we were like, "Thanks." <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Maybe Barbara's yeah. super nice though. Yeah, Sometimes we see her in our she YouTube sure studio. Is. She tells us things. I mm -hmm. know. Uh, do you have anything <clears throat> more to tell us, or shall we play? Well, I have a few more things, oh, but yeah. there we have to wait until this one's done. So let's oh. move over here. Um, and I don't think it's going to come through, so I'm just going to say a big thank you to Wario, who I think is Wario Pins previously, and I think they've changed their name yet again, because I definitely recognize that avatar. What about Wario's waifu? I, I can't keep track. What about yeah. NASCAR? It's like... It's like when you're, you're when some parent names their children like Ben, Benjamin, and Benny or some shit. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Sam, Samantha. Ah, uh, see, Wario confirms it is. Oh. Okay, I got you. Okay, so it's Wario pins. You said. Thank right? you so much, though. And Yanni, if you want to just play that, I'll star, play, play that. Us, play us out if you will. Well, we're gonna. Bam. Okay, well, you better get in this this Robert one because I'm picking a winner now. Thank you, Wario. Uh, now we're gonna start. Um, Did it show mm, up on your mm, side? Mm, <clears throat> yes, it showed up 29 minutes ago. Oh. Uh, you don't know what to call yourself anymore? Just Wario. I'll call you Wario. Uh, we're just going to call you Wario. Whoop. All right, ah, Andy, whenever yeah. you're ready. Oh, <clears throat> I have some luminol here. Why don't you do some testing around? Thank God. I you're know. back. It's so, so much better. How many women's were there? A lot. All of them. I don't know why. Literally all of them. That's exciting. I'm yeah. excited. What the fuck is... What is going on here? Uh, this is the bullshit I was dealing with yesterday. It's so annoying. And also, it, there's one okay, on the ground. Okay, fine. We gotta spray... What? Look! That made no sense! What happened?
Yo, that was a big spray you did. I know. Really big spray. Yeah, I just fucking... I, like, what, all I wish is that they actually would have made it kind of interactive, where it's like, you spray it and you see that it keeps going, so you kept spraying sort of uh, thing. Oh, yeah, like a, like a line of jelly beans leading yeah, to a Yeah, you followed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder uh, if they laid out slices of cake all the way up to the guillotine for Marie Antoinette. Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> ooh, ooh, piece of cake. Ooh, ooh piece, piece of cake. cake. And then they had, like, yeah, so there was one on the other side of the guillotine. Ooh, piece of dunk. Why are all the poor people starving with all this cake lying around? It doesn't <laughs> make any sense. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, oh, and hey, Douglas, thank you. I love you guys so much. You always find a way to cheer me up, even on my worst days. Keep being amazing. Aw, thank you. Thank you, Douglas. Oh, the blood stain leads here. all the way to the sarcophagus. Emma, is this Minister Inga's blood? Hold on one second. Do you understand <laughs> what life was like? It must have been hard. It was so hard. Huh? We That's strange. I didn't get a match. So then, whose blood is it? Dirk and Miss Faye weren't wow, uh, wounded as far as we know. And the blood's been wiped up by someone f uh, for some reason. Yeah, that's strange, too. Mysterious blood stains on the bathroom. Annie, are you okay? Amara, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, Amara? I think we've covered just about everything. Maybe we should just go over what we've learned so far. Wow, isn't that handy? That is so handy. Um... For starters, we're dealing with a locked room murder. Mm -hmm, My mm -hmm. favorite. But instead of the tomb being locked, it was being cordoned off by the royal guard. Mm -hmm. And after the murder, no one was found to be hiding inside. True. Right. In addition. We uh, also have. Oh, right. I forgot I moved him up there. Hey! What's happening? This is for Nagi. Nagi. Thank you, Nagi. Thank you. Well, oh, do we know what? I'm just gonna. Everyone, everyone, if it doesn't come up in chat, you're getting them no gold waffle. Okay, wait. I see Suzu in Streamlabs, and I saw Suzu say I, I found the sticker thing, but I don't see it in Look, chat. I don't see it either. Oh, there's a big poop sticker on the far right of it. What? I uh, can you scroll up? There it is. Did we just miss it? I, I wonder know. what happens when I play it on here. Probably nothing. No, yeah, it's not there. Hey, Suze! You, you, you want sticker? to give your chat a refresh, Tom? You don't yeah. see the poop sticker? No, there was no super chat at all. I see yeah. it. You want to look at mine? Uh, Here. Your poop? Yeah, look at my poop. Where, where am I? Oh, look, there's the poop. Look yeah, isn't that it thing? cute? That's pretty cute. Wonder if that happened with Barbara and we just didn't notice because we didn't know to look for it. I, I hope not. I think chat would have told us. Because it was hilarious. And also, we played it on stream, so I mean, like... Well, the you thing know. is, I wasn't looking at the super chat box. Oh, that's only in the super chat box. Yeah. Oh shit! But her super chat showed up. Yeah. Yeah, but I we were. I wasn't it. looking at the far right. I wasn't right. looking at it, but I, I don't wasn't remember looking seeing at the far it. right. No, that I, was... I I did not see it. Like yeah. I saw the super chat, and there was no sticker on it because I was. Well, I'm going Pretty back Pretty attentively in time. looking. Now we're going to have to DM Barbara on Twitter and be like, oh my God, we're not good at being it, smart. It just, well, we got, I don't think it was there yet. I don't think so. I don't think so. Anyways, uh, whatever, we'll move on. I, I, if anybody wants to be a hero. And oh, send, and yeah, Justin, everybody's in there now. Send a sticker the great, and maybe a, a poop sticker if you would. Mm -hmm. uh, for, to, to assist the great poop sticker debate of 2019. Yes. Uh, let me know what happens. Mm -hmm. um, also, I'm pretty sure that's Dora the Explorer's knife. Yes. Oh, definitely. Yeah. From the live As action she canonically adaptation. Holds. Yes. Always. And in addition, we also know that Dirk's fingerprints are all over the murder weapon. All over the murder weapon. The curtain around the sarcophagus was drenched in the victim's blood on one side. The blood must have also gotten on the killer when they stabbed the minister from behind. Dirk had blood on him when the crime was first discovered. Unfortunately, he doesn't remember what happened. Ah, uh, damn it. I went back in time, but Dark Barbers didn't show up in chat. That's probably what's going on. Do you see? Do you see Robert Simmons? Does Barbara's have a sticker? 
No, I didn't show up in chat. Uh, but but in the history? It didn't show up in chat. Okay. Yeah. I don't know, and everyone's saying there's a sticker, but none of them are showing up for us. Us, really? us only. Uh, hold oh, on. Oh, you're using gaming. gaming. Oh, yeah. You go. think that's like, we've yeah. always seen super no, chats, No, no, no. This is, this is, gaming's dead. This is a new feature. So that chat is now abandoned. Robert Simmons. So, there you oh, there's a thumbs up. Yeah, yeah. let's play it. Well, you, you don't use gaming chat, right, Yanny? No. Nah. Okay, then we're, we're cool. Then we're cool. Thank you for the thumbs up sticker. What does hey. that mean? Thank you. Um, I think you can do oh dark mode Oh my god, as well. just to look at that little dog giving oh, a thumbs up. What? We're seeing this. I see that now. Uh, now how is Streamlabs going to respond to this? <sighs> Delayed. <laughs> this Ouch. is not good. So what we know so far is, things couldn't be worse for our case. And that's still an understatement somehow. Mm. Yeah, it's looking pretty grim. I'm going to play some things because people... Yo. Hey, Justin! Kyoko! Hey. It's not. No. <laughs> Rip. If you two are done here, I'll have to ask you to leave. Go on, scoot! Something wrong, Emma? Why are you trying to give us the boot? It's just easier if you're not here when his eph his ephemeral holiness arrives. <laughs> <clears throat> Here he is. Oh, Grimry Bob! Clay, hand over the booster voice. It's time to let it go. Oh, he's long gone, man. P -p 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 Prosecutor said Marty! Took off in the distance like we. Oh, <laughs> like yeah. crazy. Oh, you didn't, you didn't even do it for that we. He's, he's not here. He's gone. <laughs> he's gone. He was just wee, wee, weeing yeah. all the way home. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And hey, Justin! Justin. Thank you. I forgot I was this guy, too. <clears throat> I have a feeling he'll be back sometime. Detective Sky, it seems you have spoken at length with these two lawyers. I do hope you've also kept an eye on them. Y yes, of course, like a hawk. They didn't touch a single thing except for spraying luminol everywhere. <laughs> Give a lawyer an inch and they'll take a mile. Never forget that. There's that look of distrust again. Hey, Nayuda. Do you really believe that Dirk's guilty? And are you seriously gonna going to prosecute this case? I mean, he's your father. You were once part of the Defiant Dragons, weren't you? Hey, Nayuro, wait! I said wait! Come on, Athena, after him. Ooh. Huh? Oh, uh, right behind you. Yoga girl. <laughs> Let's Yoga. chase him. But then we don't move. Mm -hmm. Your attorney's badge, huh? What? That normally gets a better reaction from you. I'm tired of collecting your fingerprints. It's kind of lost its luster. Ow. Okay. Yeah, but who knows? There could be other people's prints on it. Oh, that's true. Hand it over, buddy. Ah! <laughs> The only prints I found on there were yours. Oh, it's all dusty now. <laughs> That's funny. I'll chase him in a sec, but hey, have you, hey Emma, have you seen my dead dad? <laughs> no, I think we're, I think we're okay with that. Beep 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 Where would Nayuta have gone? Probably the royal residence. Have you seen my dad? Nayuta, would you stop already?
What do you want? It's about Dirk. Would you please hear me out? I fail to see why I should. Now, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Damn it! Nayuda! Are you afraid of what I might have to say? If not, there's no harm in listening, right? Very well. Speak. But make it quick. There is much I must do. Why does everything have to be so difficult with you? Hey, Ooh. Grim Reaper! Damn it, I hate runners. Hikes up, Cloak. I'll be back for your careers later. <laughs> <laughs> like I have one. Ah, ah, ah. Robert, he could be aggressive, aggressively moonwalking away. Oh, could be. Ooh. I like to think he's on a motorcycle. A tiny one. The putrid-minded lawyer seeks information from me. Come on, throw me a bone here. I think not. Well, aren't we? Well, aren't we? Why is that badge before me? Remember how we used to talk about what we wanted to be when we grew up? I wanted to be a lawyer and you a prosecutor. You said you wanted to prosecute bad guys and make sure they got punished. Yes, passing judgment upon evil. That is my calling and it is why I have taken this case. Are you saying Dirk is evil? He who goes against what is righteous and holy I shall reap his soul with all of my power, whoever he may be, for that is my role. Then I'll just have to defend his soul with all my power, Nayuda. Oh, yep, people getting a, a, a drop. There's a leg spike happening. Oh, no. There's a leg spike happening. I remember I feel that. like we're flying in an airplane and sometimes we just get that like. <laughs> oh, turb, turb, you put your seatbelt on and put your. Uh, Refresh your stream. Refresh your stream. Remember, refresh your stream. always refresh your stream before you refresh the stream of your children, mm -hmm. who should also be watching if they're like 18 or something. Hey, children out there. <laughs> yeah. Run up to your parent or and or guardian and say, Butts. Big butts. Oh, no. See, oh, shoot, ten, right. and now 10% of our audience, who's uh, between the ages of 13 to 17. Uh, it's like 6% or something. 10% as of yesterday. Oh, wow. 10? 10. 10? 10. 10. 10.4. Oh. Gotta stop doing those Roblox videos. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> but now there's going to be 10% of our audience going to their parents and saying, but, Yanny, how does that make you feel? Proud. Good. And influential. Ooh, nice. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Wait, is this an 18 plus stream? I mean, uh, viewer discretion is advised. So, I know you're prosecuting you Dirk's that? case, but. Aren't there any other prosecutors in this country? Why does it have to be you? Her Eminence. Queen Garan personally requested that I serve as prosecutor. She, she, she did? That would make it hard to say no. Her eminence thinks highly of my prosecutorial skills. Still, she didn't have to ask you to handle the case against your own father. Be honest, you really don't want to do this, do you? Ah. Uh. You speak of love and sentiment. Uh, I guess so. I do not deny such human emotions, but the law is the law, and placing personal feelings above it is beyond reprieve. Do you disagree? Well, no. I don't disagree, but... Civilizations only exist due to the confines of the law. Without them, love and sentiment would la lack the fertile soil they need to flourish. Do you disagree? No, but... The law must be obeyed. This truth sits above all else, including personal feelings. 
Therefore, whether or not I am the son of the accused is of no consequence. It is that simple. Or would you say otherwise? Uh, but, but, uh, come on, Apollo, uh, tell him how wrong he is. Uh, he, uh, you. Oh, Nayuda, I'm a, but, but, you don't, you know, wish it wasn't that way. Do you ever, have you ever, have you ever had a dream that? <clears throat> it appears I've wasted my breath on you. And the winner is Prosecutor Sad Marty. Wow. Thank you, Athena. Thanks, pal. <laughs> <clears throat> Still spewing empty words, devoid of meaning or consequence, I see. You putrid red pepper. Oof. Oh, we're back to peppers. Ah! I know I'm right. But do you have to be so eloquent about his point? It's like he's trying to cover something up and with his pretty words. Apollo, I'd get back on the debates with him if I were you. Just stick to questions, like the ones you wanted to ask. Who dare? Oh, oops, wrong button. <clears throat> Nayuda, I wanted to ask you about that hostage situation. Inga said that he had someone dear to Duke in the palm of his hand. Also, Thomas designated Dirk as Duke now. Mm -hmm. And there's no reason to rhyme for it. No. Okay. And he was using that person, along with his hostage, as leverage in obtaining the orb. That's news to me. Well, that's what Inga said. You can kiss your chances of getting the orb goodbye. <laughs> My fay ain't the only... How shall I say? Insurance, you know, Duke. Huh? I've got someone dear to you right in the palm of my hand, see? Now that one, well, you can imagine what kind of things I could do, right? <laughs> Glad you're seeing things my way. I got the impression Dirk's Dirk had no choice but to follow Inga's demands after he heard that. Ah, uh, yes. Dookie Sad Monk. My favorite character. Mm, <laughs> yes. So, who do you suppose this special person is? I wouldn't know. My bracelet is reacting. Hey, Nayuda. About what you just said. Nice. Ah, ow, 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 my bracelet is crushing my wrist! Ah, that really hurts! What the, what the heck is going on? <laughs> Bullshit prosecutor power number one. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm wise to your tricks, you putrid pepper. That bracelet reacts to the anxieties of the people around you by squeezing your wrist. But now that I know how it works, I can make it tighten around your wrist any time I wish. Huh. I'll just think of social interactions and stress myself out. <laughs> no! Consider this a warning. Uh, I don't know how he did it, but this renders my bracelet useless. Such devilry is powerless in the face of the Holy Mother's blessings. Looks like your special power won't work against Prosecutor Sadmati, Apollo. We'll have to try something else. <laughs> How do you feel about therapy, Nayuda? <laughs> Got time for a quick sesh? Oh, you're right. We'll just have to ask... Dirk about this. It appears... Oh, whoopsies. Whoopsie! 
You intend to go through with a trial you have no hope of winning. Grow up, Mr. Justice. We are no longer children, you and I. You and I. I'm not the one who needs to grow up, Nayuda. No, you. In case you didn't hear, I won my last case against none other than Mr. Wright. You tell him, Apollo. She's just being a hype man. Just... <laughs> 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 Is he mad? I can never tell with him. Hey, Miss Nine-Eye! And this was a gift sub from Jenny. Jenny! Hey, oh, thanks, you know what? Jenny. And actually, I, for, I forgot to mention this. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for the gift sub. We got uh, date night happening tomorrow uh, night. And because these two actually <clears> won't <throat> be able to make date night, I've been sp uh, invited a special guest, my own mother. Oh my God! God. So my mom is going to be streaming uh, with me for date night. Y'all are going to pick the game and, you know, pick games that maybe you want to show her. It's um, too late. They've <laughs> had a few weeks to put games in. I know. Uh, so uh, uh, Jenny did not know it, but she's giving the gift of date night uh, to uh, Miss Nine Eye uh, and friends. Yeah. It's mom. basically like high school all over again. Jenny mm -hmm. and I are going on a hot date and. Tom's all alone with his mom. <laughs> That's how it went high down in high school. High school all over again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God damn, you're killing me. Props to your mom, though, for showing up to that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. It was great. <laughs> yeah. Mom, don't you think it'd be weird if you came to prom with me? No, no sweetie. No, it'll be no, fine. No, shut up and give me some punch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go dance with the quarterback. <laughs> mom, your mom oh, yeah, starts spiking the punch. Yeah. The I know how to party, sweetie. <laughs> Y'all are too square. Oh god. Here, I baked some brownies. <laughs> <laughs> Wink. Oh, oh man. Oh, this god. trial is different. Your foolishness will only earn you a death sentence for aiding and abetting a criminal. And those who die as criminals are doomed to be reborn in the next life as something lower than a bug or a vegetable. You would be lucky to return to this realm as a patch of mold. A uh, mold? That's pretty harsh. If you wish to avert such a fate, abandon this folly before it is too late. <laughs> I don't care if I end up as a dollop of blue cheese dressing in my next life. Hey, at least you be useful to somebody and pretty fucking delicious. So, I mean, that's not so bad. <laughs> I'm going to defend Dirk in court. Oh, and just for clarification, that was a theoretical Tom's mom. Tom's mom would never do oh, that. Oh, yeah. No, theoretical. No, that really happened. <laughs> Allegedly. I know you weren't there. The police case says allegedly <laughs> happened, okay? Allegedly. Uh -huh. You fool. Know this. I intend to prosecute the accused with all my might, no matter what you do or say. Consider yourself forewarned. Now, if you'll excuse me. Prosecutor said Marty knows his father will be publicly executed if he's found guilty. Yet he won't even show an ounce of mercy. No. And his brother, by extension. I can't believe there are cheese haters in chat. This is crazy. No, I, blue I, cheese is not cheese. I it's live moldy on the cheese. cheese. Che no, people the, the, hate they're cheese? Hating, they're hating cheese. All kinds of cheese belong in the trash. And even uh, Zudai was like, nope, no cheese in my life. Wow. I know. I didn't know that we Amazing. were going to shut it down like this. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Jordan? <laughs> this is also a gift sub from Jenny. Oh, oh thank, thank you, Jordan. Jenny, Jenny, Jenny for Jen, Jenny, point. Jordan. Um, and little do you know, the the star that shows up there is made of cheese. Yeah, there you go. Nayuda, is this the real you? I thought it was waffles. You really changed. No, if you actually notice, it was waffles before, but now it's a once like flat uh, texture, and that's because. It's not a waffle anymore. It's cheese. What about Cheese Whiz, chat? Will you meet me there? Cheese Whiz? Okay. <sighs> that's, oh that's where you lose me, though. I love Cheese Whiz. Yeah, it's great. We don't buy it ever. And I haven't it, eaten Cheese Whiz in years. At the mod meeting, yeah. 
Zero was telling me about like telling me the name of like when you mix cheese whiz with salsa. It has like a, a, a oh, name. Oh yes, yeah, 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 yeah. I can't remember the name, but yes, I'm it's aware so of that. It's so good. Yeah, yeah. Can't be. Have you done it? I, I don't know if it's never cheese done whiz. It, yeah. You want to do that though? It's like that you, that goopy cheese, like cheese sauce. Oh, uh, like nacho That's cheese. Just cheese like, whiz. Oh, nacho cheese. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and then nacho cheese. Nacho and then cheese and salsa is what yeah. I'm yeah. thinking. Anyway, oh, moving on. Damn. Do you really plan on sending Dirk to his death? Do you even hear me? Do they still have aerosol cheese? I thought that is Cheese Whiz. No. No. What? What's Cheese Whiz? Cheese Whiz is in a like a glass bottle. Yeah. What? Yeah, it's in a glass jar. It's like jam or something, but it's oh. cheese. Cheese Whiz. Oh, now I can picture it. Now yeah. I can picture it. You said when you said bottle, I thought bottle. Uh, no, like jar. Aerosol, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, but now yeah, aerosol yeah. can. I had the aerosol can. I thought that was. Okay, now I'm now I've got to educate myself. No, Can you make the leaning tower at Chisa? Yeah. <laughs> uh -oh. Don't Dirk and I matter to you anymore? I know, I'm, I'm sorry, PK, man. This, we picked this serious moment to talk about Cheese Whiz right before To Be Continued. Cheese is important. It is. It is. Oh man, you know the cheese is good. Freaking mm -hmm. brie cheese, oh, man. Brie and a sharp cheddar. Hey, what's happening? And this was also a gift sub from Jenny. Oh, thank you, Jenny. Mm -hmm. I know. And this was supposed to be a brief tangent, but it wasn't. Drop your favorite cheese in chat. Thank you. Or cheese pun, either one. Ooh, Camembert. That's interesting. I think that's like a brie. Camembert. Maya passed out right after we found her in the tomb. I feel exhausted. I can't keep my eyes open. She's been out cold ever since. We haven't been able to get a word out of her. The doctor says just exhaustion. But I can't help but worry. Pepperjack sounds good. What is it right? Are you all right? Yeah, just thinking is all. I'm glad you're here, Edgeworth. We wouldn't have gotten the permission we needed without you here. Well, I didn't come all this way to Kurain to be useless. Oh shit, hear me out. Phoenix dies. Maya channels him. Maya Ooh. is now all right. Uh... Speaking of the investigation... I received a few things from Detective Sky. These should prove to be useful to us as well. Inga's autopsy report. Tomb diagram. Tomb crime photo. Wow. Crime scene photographs. I can't thank you enough, Edgeworth. Honestly, I'd have been so lost without him these past few days. Ah, and uh, you can go right ahead, Yanny. It was a boy, though. Is it? I don't know. Maybe. You there! The barbed head lawyer, Phoenix Wright! Huh? Oh, shit. You're, uh, from the Gar and Royal Guard, right? Oh, God. I am Lockie, Royal Guard member and her eminence's shoulder rubber. Yo, that's quite the title. <laughs> yeah. He's talking about the queen, right? Yeah. He's a yeah. Lack, he's a he's her lackey. Do you see that? Lackey. Ah, uh, lackey. Yeah. Uh, lockey. Lucky. J Trev. Take it out of context. Dirk is basically trying to make up for abandoning Apollo by asking him to die along with him after being found guilty in court. Family bonding. Yay. It's typical dad things. Yeah, just dad things. That's very specific. And what does the royal shoulder rubber want with me? Man, I don't know why shoulder rubber sounds much dirtier than it actually is. Right? Because when you're thinking, like, I'm like rubber, right? I'm like, that is a racer, also a, a condam, also oh. like a rubber ball. But it's not, that's not how it's intended. It's no. like a shoulder rubber, like rubbing know. something. Oh, like yeah. That. I didn't go there. I just went with the rubber and what do you rub other than... Anyways. 
Wait, come to think of it, Rubber shoulders. my shoulders are a bit stiff. Don't be absurd! I am here for one purpose only! I am here to bring you before her eminence! Queen Garan, Grand Princess of Korain! Will you comply? The queen? The queen. What could she want with me? And why does he have to shout like that? Hmm. I can't fathom why Queen Garan would summon you. But I advise you to accept her eminence's gracious invitation. Royal shoulder rubber Laki, was it? May I join Mr. Wright in his audience with the queen? The name is La Key. La L A H apostrophe K E E and all praise the omnipotent Queen Garan. Ah, uh, omnipotent. Omnipotent Queen Garan. Yeah. For she has already foreseen and approved your request, Chief Prosecutor Edgeworth. Damn. You are both to come with me. You mean to say Queen Garan sees our every move? Yes, indeed! Her eminence's spiritual power is in me! She can even see what is going on thousands of miles away! The fuck? <laughs> trying to think of like the most like irrelevantly funny thing that she could be looking at a thousand miles away, but I'm drawing a total blank. Squirrel drops its nut. I guess so. Or like, I don't know, Bob Ross just on a mountain painting some nice scenery and she's like, Ooh. Oh man, no, you walking uh, down the street, you forgot a belt in a dress pants and dress shirt. She sees. She sees. Okay. Right. I fear I'll lose my hearing next if we don't hurry. Yeah, me too. Why would the queen herself summon me personally? What could she possibly be up to? Hey, uh, Edgeworth, have you, uh, you seen this? Still at it, I see. I guess boulders mean little in the face of your incurable habit. Well, I heard you used to present evidence left and right during your investigations, too. That was a long time ago. Besides, who did you hear that from? Oh. I have my sources. Oh. Well, tell your source that I look forward to his next salary review. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, no, man. <laughs> That's hey, hey, this one's gonna hurt. <laughs> What's 1% of one penny? Uh, I, don't, I can't do that, man. You translate that to ramen noodles? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, gumshoe, Mrs. Gumshoe, too. <laughs> May 18th, Garan Palace, audience chamber. These are their stories. Boom, boom. Oh! Wow. Cool. Ah. Uh. The barbed head lawyer has arrived. We bid you welcome. I don't know what button that is. I keep pressing I'm pressing it. And you as well, Chief Prosecutor Edgeworth. Th thank you. This place is still as magnificent as last time. We have heard much about you, barbed one. It seems your bluffs and tomfoolery tend to leave our court devastated in their wake. Uh, is that what people have been saying about me? Right. Where are your manners? Your eminence, I am both humbled and delighted to be in your presence. Oh, Raga! So, rubbing shoulders is actually an expression. Rub shoulders with informal. Yes. Uh, U.S. also rub elbows with. Uh -oh. To meet and spend time with someone. She claims that she rubs shoulders with royalty all the time. Ooh. Definition of rub shoulders with. Yeah. Like, I've definitely heard that. You know, like, oh, I went to the film event and I rubbed shoulders with some of the best actors Angelina in Hollywood. Angelina Jolie. Yeah. Or, or whatever, right? I've definitely heard that. But in, in the context of a royal shoulder rubber, I... I 
think it's more literal that he rubs her shoulders, you know. Basically, he's... he's she's got him under his, her foot, I guess. Or, I don't know. Which makes it really hard for him to reach up and rub the shoulders. Yeah. Anyways. Oh, um... Your Eminence. Um... Glad to be here. Looks like you're doing well. Hmm. It is all right. There is no need to keep your head bowed all day. Yo, what up, Philip? Yes, your eminence. Rafe is not looking too good. I guess even she just can't, or can't just bounce back from her father's murder. So, what can I do for you, your eminence? We wish to question you about something related to the case at hand. Perfect, because I have a few questions of my own. <laughs> it just stood there for a second and is like, anyone gonna, anyone gonna say anything, game, or? Um, please take a look at this. That reminds us of when Dirk was still practicing law. So... We see that lawyers in your country also present evidence. Yeah. Simply to gauge the other party's reaction when all else has failed. Oh, shit. Do not presume to use such simplistic methods upon us. So sorry. Sorry. I like how she uses the royal we. How about your dead husband? Um, please take a look at this. All good, Bill. Excuse me, could you Show move for a second? Show the badge! <laughs> but, 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 but the badge. It's the Garon Royal Guard. The one who came for us earlier said that he's the royal shoulder rubber. Um, excuse me, but are each of you charged with your own specific task? I'm the royal tea server, I'm the royal toaster, I'm the royal bed maker, I'm the royal fitness tie! Trainer. Err. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, all right. I'm, I'm sorry I asked. At this rate, one has to wonder if there's no task left unassigned by her eminence. The royal toaster. <laughs> Taster. <laughs> Whatever. It was fast and no, I started yeah. like halfway I through. Yo, I, I read toaster too. <laughs> yeah. I thought like, oh, someone who toasts today. I know. Or, you like, know? And either, you know what? A professional toast being toasted every morning or every time there needs to be a speech, I will toast uh, to the queen. And, yeah. you know, got to be really good and on the point for that. Right? I, I thought that that's what the, they're like toaster, like at a, at a banquet. Yeah. Not like for bread. The Although hernia. if he just carried around it like a blowtorch. <laughs> no. It's like, God, my bread. Oh, perfect every time. And then I'm just going to make a crunch noise, but it just kind of made a squawk noise. Wow. That's one swanky throne. It. I wouldn't mind taking a seat there myself. The jester and the crown. I imagine it would make quite an interesting picture. You know, Edgeworth, I hate to say this, but you're absolutely right. One moment, I got a tickle. I got a tickle in my throat. Toaster, fetch my strudel. Toaster strudel. I don't think my father, <laughs> the inventor of toaster strudel, would be very happy to hear about this. The royal toaster. We fear we do not fully comprehend what has transpired. So it is that we summoned you here to further elucidate the situation. Is it true that our husband Inga had been seeking the Founder's Orb? That's right. He wanted to trade a hostage for it. That's why he abducted Maya Fey. Insolent fool! Katonk. Ow! That is a lie! A lie, I say! Father would never have done such a thing! But he did abduct Maya. That much is... I will not stand here and listen to this nonsense! You will pay for this! You! You! Oh. Ow, 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 please, your benevolence. That is quite enough, Rafa. We understand your feelings, but we fear he speaks the truth. Isn't, like, benevolence is like a kind of like, like a grand kindness of sorts. You know, like to be benevolent is to be like, 
I don't know. Let's like, get the full definition. Like almost well generous. Well-meaning and kindly. Yeah. So it's really ironic to call someone your benevolence as they're physically assaulting you. That's actually really ironic and fun. Yeah. I like it. For we believe we know why your father would do such a thing. Huh? We believe he was seeking the orb as a means of obtaining spiritual power. And with it, he intended to usurp the throne. Oh, Rude. shit. Mother? What do you mean, your eminence? Inga was planning a coup, for he was dissatisfied with the current administration. And his secret police was primarily the instrument of his treason. The secret police? They came up during the high priest murder trial, too. An elite force under the direct command of uh, the Minister of Justice. In this case, Inga. The man who was hunting down rebels as Lady Kira was a member of that group. Indeed, Inga turned that once proud force into his own private army, and he intended on using them to launch a coup and assassinate us. So, your eminence has no had no control over them. As much as it shames us to admit it, Kurain is not the United Realm it would appear to be. We truly are sorry that you have had to witness the dirty underbelly of our kingdom. <gasps> How could father? But know that Inga could not have become king simply through our assassination. For in Kurain, only those who possess spiritual power may sit on the throne. <laughs> It's actually like really sad because the queen is like totally slam dunking on Rafa right now. Who's oh. finding this out for the first time for some reason? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like legit, like on a basketball court, Queen Rafa like just dribbled right up the middle, jumped, put her foot on Rafa's face as oh, she slam yeah. dunked, put the ball <laughs> through the hoop, and then the ball went through the hoop and then hit Rafa on the face again. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's visually what's happening right now. I see. That explains why Minister Inga was seeking the Founder's Orb. Barbed One, do you recall the man known as Please, uh, Peace Lub and Understanding? Uh, no, it's Peace Lube. Peace Lube and Understanding. <laughs> and disdain him? What about him? He, too, was involved in Inga's machinations. Mm, machinations is such a fun word. Inga had bought his loyalty, ordered the man to steal the orb and cover up the theft. And then he sent the orb to the U.S. for Dr. Buff to study. It's all coming together. The capture of the infamous villain Dirk Sadmadi. It may prove to be the crowning achievement of our reign. Oh, boy. Now perhaps the kingdom may return to the peace it once knew. Uh -uh. Oh, what a joyous day. Well, that's weird. <laughs> Hail to her eminence, Queen Gavran, Grand Priestess of Kurayin. Should have been Kurayan. Kurayan. It would have just uh, rhymed with Garan and it would have been awesome. Uh, so Rename the nation. Rename the nation after me. Mm -hmm. It is now Kurayan. Her eminence is spiritual power invoked a blessing straight to the Holy Mother. Uh, really good. Yeah. That one didn't flow as much. I could see how her cronies would be elated at the prospect. But the queen herself seems almost giddy for someone whose husband was just murdered. Well, I mean, when your husband was like trying to assassinate you and you were trying to figure out how to stop that from happening and then he just died, you're like, oh, that's good. Oh. And everyone's happy except for Rafa. Rafa. Yeah. Father. Rafa, on the other hand, doesn't appear to be taking it so well. I mean, what was the plan, though? He was going to be like, he's just going to kill her, assassinate and be like, I've got spiritual power, so now I'm your... Um, King? oh, uh, okay, so I have to, I have to dig back here. Uh, so it's something to do with the Founder's Orb and obtaining that great spiritual power yeah. and stuff like that, yeah. that would give him the right to the throne. Oh, just have the right to? Yeah. Mm, interesting. And, and, like, channeling the Founder and doing mm. that whole thing. 
Hmm. About that incident that occurred 23 years ago. The one in which Dirk was accused of assassinating Queen Amara. Yes, he set fire to her private residence, burning my dear sister alive. Murder by arson. Only a demon would be capable of such a heinous crime. But that event also set the stage for you to become queen. What did you do before you were crowned queen, your eminence? I knit a lot. As part of our training to be queen, we served in many different governmental positions, the longest of which was the previous Minister of Justice. It was in that position that we were best able to support our elder sister, Queen Amara. Interesting. That's her husband's position, or at least it was. And when you ascended the throne, you passed the Defense Culpability Act. Uh-oh. I'm sensing a villain. Ooh! Hey, what's up, TBD? Wow, understanding was gonna get executed by his boss and he didn't rat him out? That's some loyalty right there. Those who would support criminals will be deemed just as guilty. What prompted you to pass something like the Defense Culpability Act, Your Eminence? The assassination of our dear sister Amara. Sister. When the infamous villain Dirk Sadmari, who was apprehended, he announced that he would act as his own lawyer. That's right. Dirk used to be a lawyer. Dirk had been an extraordinarily talented lawyer and highly esteemed by the people. But he falsified evidence in an attempt to win his own case. I see. Angriest? Hey. Hi! Currently hiking. Can't wait to be in Vancouver. Oh, oh heck yeah. I guess that means you're in Banff then. Yeah, I forgot to mention that to you guys. I'll talk about it later. Yeah, well, okay. Thing about being in Vancouver today is not a good day for it. Yeah, so good thing no. that you're not here it's yet. It's pouring. Yeah, well, no, it stopped. It, it's, oh, did it? Yeah, it's just muggy now. Oh. Yeah. But when the truth of his fabrications and the assassination of the queen came to light. But we do know that not a lot. some places don't get a lot of rain, so the rain's actually kind of nice sometimes. I like yeah. the rain. Yeah, summer rain is nice here too. Mm. The people were devastated. And trust in the legal system plummeted. Now, why does that sound so familiar? Dark Age of the Law. Yeah, I wonder. <laughs> Wasn't it kind of uh, Phoenix's fault, right? Dark Age <laughs> of the Law? Uh, I don't think it was his fault, but it certainly happened when they walked all over him. But anyways. Hmm. In Kurayin, the Hall of Justice is a sacred space where victims receive their last rites. Should the people lose their faith in it, the kingdom would be shaken to its very core. Oh, I don't know, I that is why that. the Defense Culpability Act had to be passed. It was the only way to keep our legal system from tumbling into the abyss. So that's how you sought to eliminate the use of perjury and phony evidence, huh? Wouldn't it just make sense to make perjury and phony evidence punishable by death? Instead? No, this was the only way. Obviously. But that law is what made lawyers go extinct in your kingdom. Now there's no one left to defend those who have been accused. We see how you could take issue with such a reality. However, we have not banned the act of lawyering itself. Those who are confident that they can prove their client's innocence... How ironic would it be that it would be illegal for you to be a lawyer? Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. you know, it's like, wait a second, that law's bullshit. Take him away, <laughs> folks. <laughs> <laughs> Lawyered, yeah. bitch. Yeah. Illegal. Illegal. <laughs> but wait, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Are always welcome to mount a vigorous defense, as you yourself have shown. Well, I guess so, but without lawyers, there's a possibility that false charges being uh, false charges being filed and prosecuted. So long as our prosecutors continue to run nothing but perfect trials, there needn't be a fa uh, fear of such nefarious dealings. Do you disagree? Yes. Perfect prosecutors and their perfect trials, huh? Stupid, sexy Edgeworth. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> Let's not get started down this path. <laughs> oh, hey, TBD! TBD! What up? The Dark Age of the Law was caused by two things. Phoenix, a, a lawyer, lawyer. For forging evidence, and Simon, a prosecutor, killing his mentor. Mm. Oh, yeah. so Phoenix and Simon are kind of like the PewDiePies of the Adpocalypse world? Oh, I'm not going to touch that. <laughs> Furthermore, here in Kurain, we have the div divination seance. It wasn't his fault, though. And so it is, we no longer need lawyers, for the dead do not lie. Well, in the short time I've been here, I've beaten back false charges twice. And I've also found that cases built on the memories of the dead are less than perfect. So yes, I do take issue with the Defense Culpability Act, to say the least. <laughs> Such relentless rhetoric. Your reputation, re reputation precedes you, barbed one. It feels as if we ourselves were being cross-examined. Uh, oh, oh no, that wasn't my intention. Do not stop, I like it. It is true that some feel that the Defense Culpability Act is a necessary evil at best. But it is a small sacrifice upon which the peace of our kingdom has been forged. If you consider executing innocent lawyers a small sacrifice, then sure. I guess. The fact is that uh, the, uh, the fact is that the following passage... Oh, wow. I don't know why this is difficult for me. The fact is that following its passage, the crime rate here in Kurain dropped markedly. Therefore, we have no regrets concerning the enactment of the Defense Culpability Act. Really? None at all? Right. Why don't we leave it at that? This isn't a court of law, after all. Yeah. About the Founder's Orb that was to be exchanged for the hostage. It went missing after the murder. Would you happen to know anything about it? It's missing? I'm sure Dirk had it when he went into the tomb. If it wasn't there, I have no idea where it could be, Your Eminence. In that case, then perhaps Dirk has hidden it somewhere. Incidentally, there is a matter of that wit uh, of that horned youth you were with. Oh, you must mean Apollo. From his odd hairstyle, may we assume him to be a relative? Perhaps your younger brother. No, 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 definitely not. Oh my god, no, how dare you? <laughs> Me related to Apollo? Uh, Apollo. That is insulting. <laughs> You've got it all wrong. He's Dirk's son, okay? <laughs> Yikes. Well, well, more like Foster's son. They're not actually related by blood. Dirks. Oh, damn it. Royal God. Uh-oh. Your eminence! Huh? What's she whispering in that one guy's ear? Thank you for your time. The two of you may go now. Yes, Your Eminence. We'll be on our way. Okay. Now what? Apollo and Athena have the murder scene investigation covered, so... Maybe we should go speak with the locals over at the bazaar. At the bazaar. The bazaar. Have you seen your dead husband? Okay. Oh yeah. Cool. How about Apollo's dad? Man, we haven't seen I'll Be Your Guide recently. I know. But I'll be voicing that character. It's JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. That's funny. Oh! Rawr. What? Was that a lion? Yes, sweetie. Oh, that caught me by surprise too when I first heard it. That's the cry of a local bird known as a warbird. A bird. That sounds like that. Rawr. Sounds more like a beast than a bird, if you ask me. Ooh, I'm gonna eat you right up. It's a form of mimicry. You know, to help protect them against predators and stuff. 
Yes, well, can't say I've heard one quite like that before. Oh, it's more than unusual. It's endangered. Mm -hmm. It's extremely rare to encounter one in the wild these days. If it's so rare, then what's one doing out here in the middle of the bazaar? You got me. Maybe it's something to do with it being their national bird or something. Oh, fuck! Ah, was that a gunshot? That's... Har, 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 har. Did you shoot the war bad? I hope not. I really hope not. <laughs> He's still moving. Startle ya, PW. It is. Oh, hey. What was that, Dats? Ah, this little pirate voice I've been practicing. What'd you think of it? Nice. The Vine Dragon's newest weapon. I call these puppy Dragon Snot Snappers. Uh huh. And you need those. Why? Because our hard work is starting to pay off. Thanks to our TV signal hijacking and stuff, more and more people are joining our cause. But on, on account of that, the regime's been cracking down on us real tough-like. Yeah, there's been a lot going on lately. You can say that again. I mean, what with the high priest's fake murder-slash-suicide? People are calling it the DCA tragedy, and it's causing a real public uproar. Hopefully this means that Taras' death won't be in vain after all. So, how exactly is a handful of firecrackers going to be of any help to you guys anyway? Simple. First, I supply them to our fellow rebels. Uh-huh. Then, we use them as a diversion when we need to shake Garon's goons. Okay. Huh. Like this. Hello! Will you cut that out? I'm not with the regime and I'm not chasing you. <laughs> oh, your reaction. That was priceless, BW. Roar! Oh, man. Guess I startled that warbat, too. I'm so scared. Oh, my gosh. It's a miracle no one's trying to arrest him while he's busy laughing. This is a woman. You there. There it is. Ah, uh, hello. You are one of those insurgents, are you not? Uh... Yikes! Uh, take that! Pocket sand! Oh, oh my gosh! <clears throat> and he's gone. Those firecrackers are more useful than I thought. Barbjed! Oh my god, thank god you saved me from that insurgent rebel who was going to kill me or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Uh huh. Your benevolence. What can I do for you? I I wanted to speak with you. Oh, cool. We're not going to ask about the whole rebel thing. Awesome. About what my mother said. Okay. I do not believe a word of it. My father could not have been planning a coup. Okay. Th this is definitely a common theme. You're really going to have to like reflect on all this. Yeah. Well, I can understand why you'd feel like that, but... It was a setup. Someone must have been plotting against him. Uh-huh. Um, and how do you know that? I just do, because the Holy Mother guides me. Uh-huh. And as a royal priestess, I must uncover the truth for all to see. Man, that's my least favorite answer. Why is this happening? Because religion, and I know better. Now shut up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it worked pretty well for Joan of Arc until it stopped working well for Joan of Arc. Uh-huh. Yeah, totally. It really all went up in smoke, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Totally. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe this is just how Rafa expresses her sense of duty. Yeah. You're investigating this matter, are you not? <laughs> her trial was lit. Uh. Then rejoice, for I shall accompany you and bestow upon you the royal priestess's wisdom. Ha 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 That's the best news I've heard all day, your benevolence. Oh, God. And no one would dare get in our way with Rafa by our side. We humbly accept your offer, don't we, Edgeworth? As you wish, right? Excellent. Then let us begin with my father's private quarters. We should be able to find some clues there. I shall expose these f this false charge for what it is, if it's the last thing I do. Could it be? Is the reason she's so defensive about Inga is because she's a daddy's girl? 
Bridgehead. Let us not waste any time. My father's private quarters are located within the royal residence. Aww. Now follow me. Okay. And heads right. Wait. Oh, she's sure in a hurry. Edgeworth, get there before there and check for the porn. <laughs> right. The minister's private quarters may hold evidence related to his murder as well. Yeah, well, maybe we can kill two warbads with one stone. Rafe is obviously uh, awfully fired up. I just hope she'll be ready for the truth we find. After all, it's hard to believe that Ingo is not in full control of the whole affair. Excuse me while I uh, do a quick examination here. I never thought the day would come when we'd be investigating a case side by side. Oh, because I never thought the day would come when you'd get sentimental on me. <clears throat> come on, right. Time's a wasting. Sure. Edward is so softened up in his mm. old age. Wait. Exactly which one of us was wasting time here. Like a fine wine, he's gotten smoother. Can you Ooh. investigate the war bad? No. Rawr, investigate me. It's, it's all, it was all like one thing. It was a huge wow. debated. <laughs> Just fine. So, you've been here all this time. I wondered where you had gone. Don't tell me you missed me, Edgeworth. As if. The courts have been so peaceful without you around. Make it sound like I leave legal devastation in my wake. <laughs> well, don't you? I get to the truth, okay? Sometimes that's messy. Well, right. What do you intend to do now? I was thinking. I want to help Apollo win this case. Oh, shoot. I thought it was you was the answer to that. I was thinking, <laughs> why not you? So why don't we try to gather whatever information we can? You're quite the considerate boss. Well, I kind of forced him to take care of the office in my absence, so it's the least I can do. Wait. Uh, I think, isn't it, uh... Blah. No. Yeah. Inga's private headquarters. Private yeah, quarters. which is inside the uh, the courtyard there. Blah. The royal residence. Yeah, I go there. May 18th, Garan Palace, royal residence. Now, if we can figure out which of these buildings houses Inga's private quarters, that's where we'll find Rafa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, man. So there's some footy prints. There's oh. some... PKMN. Really things. Happy digital birthday to your sister. Ooh, nice. This place is decorated with all sorts of colorful flowers. And that view from the veranda looks like it would be amazing. If I had to guess, I'd say Rafa must live here. Mara's tomb. The scene of Inga's murder. Poor Maya was held captive in there. But think she was actually being held here in Kurain. If only we had found out sooner. No point in dwelling on that now. All we can do is keep moving forward. Yes, of course. Ooh. The bridge. What a beautiful place this is. But I enjoy this a, ho a whole lot more if we weren't investigating a murder. Commoners aren't normally allowed access to the royal residence, you know. Under no ordinary circumstances, it would be impossible to take in such a spectacular view. No murder is certainly a unique reason to be offered such a rare opportunity. Garon Palace, the heart of the kingdom's government and religion. Yes, the two are inseparably intertwined here in Kurain. The religious, religious belief of its people touch every aspect of their lives. 
including legal affairs. Right, like how they commune with spirits in court. I suppose Kurainism is, is the glue that binds their faith, law, and politics together. Gah. Can't talk. It may seem strange to foreigners like us, but for them, it's perfectly natural. Perfectly natural. Mm hmm. It's not unusual to mix religion and law. <laughs> it's not unusual to prosecute everyone. It's not unusual to see the visions of the dead. It happens every day. I don't know how the transition is that. Mm hmm. Now, oh, footprints coming from this residence. Too bad they just kind of end. I wonder who made them and where they went. Well, yeah, let's just leave that at that, I guess. <laughs> This overturned urn spilled its water all over the place. It was already knocked over when we got here early this afternoon, so... We can rule out Athena, at least. <laughs> right. What does it say about you if your first suspect is your own subordinates? Because we know the methodology, man. You say something that makes your, sus like, make your person look more suspect, which means that they're not the suspect. Yes. Now that's what I call an extravagant exterior. This is where Inga's... Is this where Inga's private headquarters are? Watch your step, right? That urn's been knocked over, spilling water everywhere. Why is this the thumbnail, DS Wells asks? This is the thumbnail because uh, we have a, a place where moderators can tell me what would be a good thumbnail. And so I, I made don't a get mistake. spoils. And, uh, and so they're like, make this a thumbnail. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll do Watch that. Watch the last stream, then you'll know. Yeah. Yeah, the ground's soaked. I wonder who did this. Oh. <laughs> hmm? I think someone's in there. <laughs> Is that Princess Rafa? There were still so many things I wished to tell you. Aww. <laughs> She always puts on such a brave face. But hearing her cry all alone, mm. I... I feel, yeah, yeah. I feel farther and farther away. Mm -hmm. I can't help but think of Trucy. <laughs> Father? <laughs> um, Princess Rafa, are you in there? I kind of wish that her eyes were a bit more red. Uh, that would have been good. Well, uh, let us commence our investigation, shall we? Um, your benevolence? Maybe you should rest for a minute. You were eavesdropping on me, weren't you? Um, no, I mean, yes. Sorry, I couldn't help overhearing. It wasn't like I was spying on you or anything. You stupid, stupid barbed It's a really cute sound. Ow! You could have feigned uh, You could have feigned ignorance. It's as if your brain to mouth filter shuts off the moment you step out of the courtroom. Ah, uh, not that bad, Edgeworth. Anyway, what took you so long? I thought you would never get here. You have a lot of nerve keeping the crown princess waiting. Oh, um, sorry? This was my father's residence. I have already unlocked it so you can go right in. Oh, and be careful. Some dingbat dog got in the courtroom and spilled water over there. A dingbat dog? That's right. Dingback. The yappy mutt spilled a whole urn's worth. Hmm. I didn't think Larry was allowed to leave the country. I wonder how I got into this area. Do you know what it looked like? Hmm. I have better things to do than to memorize what some straight dog looks like. Anyway, it's not worth talking about. Let's search my father's room, shall we? I really hope she's all right. Yeah. 
Damn, it's a long list of locations. I don't think we've had one this long before. N definitely not for a while. Not since they... Oh, man. Do you remember when you had to go to each location before you go to the next one? Oh, so yeah. You actually travel down the path? Yeah. That, that was, was painful. I, I think it was game one. Okay, yeah, so I think it was game one. Where they And they had uh, the whole film studio. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Torture. Would you have a bust of yourself made? I was just thinking about that. Like, what's really funny about the whole thing is I was like, yeah, I'd totally do it and it'd be ironic, but then it just wouldn't be ironic and I would have yeah. a golden bust of myself. Yeah. <laughs> what know? if we all got busts of ourselves? Yeah. Would it be ironic then? I don't know. What if we what if we put the bust of ourselves on stream and then just voiced it over from the side and the golden busts did the whole thing? Would you be into a chat? Let yeah. us know. I uh, One of my favorite like things like that is uh, from the movie Dodgeball. Very funny. Uh, mm -hmm. When they go into Ben Stiller's office, mm -hmm. he's the owner of Globo Gym. Um, and there's this like mural painting of him like grabbing a bull by the horns oh and like taking God. it down. <laughs> and he's like all muscular and yeah, shit. Yeah. And he's like, ah, yeah, it's some sort of metaphor about taking, grabbing life by the, the horns or something like mm. that. I don't know. Dumb shit. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> just, like, moves on and stuff. It's just really great. Anyway. <laughs> What a mess. You can definitely tell a guy used to live in this room. I guess Inga and I had at least that much in common. Bah, this stuff keeps getting in the way. Nana? Don't you dare clean this room. That's... Oh. Huh? Where's Nana? Normally, I guess they, she has no service in this area. Nana wasn't really an old woman, but was actually her father. <gasps> Aww. And, you know, she was always like, Daddy, can you come spend time with me? He's like, oh, I'm much too busy, Rafa. But he was there the whole he time. He was there the whole time. She comes running whenever Rafa calls. That's right. Nana is... Nana is what? Oh, well, you, Barbjad, come. Hold this staff for me. Why me? It's too heavy, and I am tired of holding it. How does Nana put up with this day in, day out? Um, I'll just set it over here for now. So I'm assuming Nana is a part of the secret police. Maybe. <gasps> and once the dad died, she was like, Gotta get my no. ship. Gotta get out of here. I don't want to get beheaded. Remove that vile badge from my sight. If you insist on tormenting me, I will take matters into my own hands. Hey, don't bite it. Hmm. It is much harder than I thought. What did you think it's made of? Chocolate? Mm. She's old. Yeah, she's just scurrying out of out of town. I'll push out my new life. What's that? What's the movie? Oh, or what's oops. the game where you can be anybody? You can be, even be Margaret, the old lady. What do you think of this? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Um. Your benevolence? Guess you don't want to take a bite out of this one, eh? No? Okay. Father. Oh. Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you like that, <laughs> I guess. Whoopsies. Do not underestimate me. I am the royal priestess, and as such, I will experience my father's death tomorrow. Oh, boy. So, hand it over. A photo of the corpse. Well, not face. Oh. <gasps> Your benevolence. Oh. Right, you fool. Put that picture away. Uh, 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 I mean... <laughs> there is no need to worry. I simply lost my footing. That is all. Now I'm really worried about tomorrow. What? Come on, guys. Damned if you present the evidence. Damned if you don't. I can just can't win. I, like, can we talk about those footprints for a second? Yeah. Who walks that close together? Like, that's shuffly walking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe it was like... really is like double footprint, though, because if you removed half the footprints, it would look relatively normal. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, two people. Uh, uh, or even three people. Yeah. There's some muddy shoe prints here. Come to think of it. 
There was some spilled water by the entrance. Somebody must have stepped in it before coming in here. They're already dry. That means oh. they're at least several hours old. Slowpoke! Nana moved to London and changed her name to Helen. Uh-huh. Oh. That was that was the watchdogs. Uh, ah. Uh, watchdogs, watchdogs, okay. watchdogs. Perfect. Then someone must have been here today in the early afternoon. She's moved on to a different revolution. Yeah. For our servants clean this room each day. Here in Korean, we have a saying. Leave not today's untidiness to tomorrow. That's a good, that's a good, that's a good. Uh, <laughs> Mine is, why clean up today when you can leave it for tomorrow? That's or for so pearls good. to clean up. That is good. Also, was he a diabetic? Nick? No. Man. Inga, because he's there's like a needle in a drawer there. His desk is crammed full of documents. Hmm. They appear to be paperwork for executions. But for this many cases? Indeed. Something is rotten in the kingdom of Kurain. Hmm. This one dates back to five years ago. Something tells me he simply kept putting them off because he hated doing paperwork. Five years ago? Yeah. What? No, you don't feel like doing my paperwork for my execution? Take your time. <laughs> Forget about it, you know? 10 years, 20 years, whatever. We'll get there eventually. Yeah. That's one luxurious and comfy looking bed. I've slept on nothing but hard floors since coming to Kurain. Can't wait to sleep in a nice soft bed again. Then take it. It's yours if you wish. We'll have to clean this room out anyway, now that my father is gone. Oh. But... Don't you want to keep these things as a m m memento of your father? Besides, I don't need his spirit haunting me late at night. Do you suppose if I sleep slept on it, I could see my father once more? Oh, Princess Rafa. I honestly don't know how to answer that. Uh, JD, I only got that one where the one that said Nana moved to London and changed her name to Helen. <laughs> That wow. End of end of that. That's one gaudy sculpture. Mm -hmm. If there was more to that, I know sometimes Streamlabs cuts it off, so you could yeah. just type it in chat and I would read it out. Oh. My father sculpted it himself from a block of solid gold. Why does it not surprise me that he was also a narcissist? <laughs> it's pretty detailed. He even included that personal stamp of his. Hey, that stamp's a little loose. Stamp? Oh. oh, yes, it is a stamp. Not a cigar. Right, not a cigar. Right, right, right. I was so confused for a moment, and I had to like play that back in my mind. I think he only stamped like, one thing in front of us. Ah! Look, there's a secret safe inside. Oh, my! Secret safe. Do you think such a thing was here all this time? Gandalf kicks the door in. Is it secret? Is it safe? <laughs> it's a secret safe, yes. It's, it's a hot. secret safe. Oh. I'm just worried it's going to be dildos. <laughs> I definitely didn't hear it that the way that you you meant it. I heard it was like I, I hope it's not a deal, you know. Does yeah. I hope it's not a deal though. And I'm like, why would it be bad to have a deal inside of there? Deal Anyways. or no deal, <laughs> dough. <laughs> deal or no deal, dough. <laughs> <laughs> one of these boxes contains one million dollars. The rest of them contain dildos. <laughs> I think um, I want to take the deal though. Uh, of varying size and, and shape. material. <laughs> There's like one solid gold dildo. That's the uh... ooh. That's worth a lot of money. Yeah. Oh god. Rats. Looks like we need the combination to get in. Try six nine six nine. Perfect. 420 followed by Blaze. One letter, one number. This notepad must have belonged to Inga. Let's see. How to take over the Goran regime. Inga's notes. Nana. Purple hat, glasses, diamond-shaped tattoo in her forehead. Dirk. Long hair, eye patch, blue clothes. Phoenix right. Spiky hair, blue clothes. Pink necktie. It's pink? 
Yeah, I guess it is. I, I was like, is it? And I looked over at the, the screen thing. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's, that's pink. That. Yeah, that's pink. Never really thought about it. No. That's strange. These appear to be notes detailing people's most prominent characteristics. Hey, there's even some stuff about me in here. Oh, God. This is where we find out he's got prosopagnosia. Why would he bother doing this? Hmm. I am afraid even I can't answer that. Whatever the reason, it's giving me a case of the heebie-jeebies. Hmm. It's as though he was taking down descriptions of people over the phone. That's what it reminds me of anyway. What a brilliant deduction! One fitting of a chief prosecutor such as yourself. I commend you. Hmm. That's high praise coming from you, your benevolence. Edgeworth's right. They do look like dictation notes, but... I don't know. I mean, why bother describing Nana? We must have seen every day. Da, 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 da. Probably. Man, I'm glad we know what that is. Yeah. Hashtag things I learned in video games. Right? So, are those his clothes on the back of the chair, or is the back of the chair his clothes? That's a great question. Yes. And he, it, it, it's both, and he uses a lot of starch uh, in, yeah. in the washer. And it's answered. This chair looks like it was modeled after Inga's suit jacket. Hmm. The backrest even has those fancy buttons of his. I imagine they make the chair awfully uncomfortable to sit on. I was thinking that. Actually, they sure serve to massage the pressure points on the back. My father suffered from terrible back pain, you see. I wonder if it really works. Man. I bet you can find a really good deal on like a massage chair from like oh, Craigslist from... or something. Oh, oh, yeah. People buy massage chairs yeah. and then. Don't use what them. are you gonna do with the massage chair? Taking up just a whole so space. Big. Yep. Mind oh, man, you, so I saw good. that you uh, getting rid of a little little chair that we have. Oh yeah, absolutely. We slip. Uh, we've been talking about getting rid of that for a long time. We could slip a little massage chair in that corner. Oh maybe. This is the most likely special. Oh sorry. <clears throat> this is most likely a special ink pad for the justice minister's stamp. His insignia is carved big and bold right on the lid. Talk about overkill. Did he really have to mark everything he owned? All right. Now let's address the drugs in the room. It's a syringe and a vial. Those are for my father's back pain. Holy shit. It was syringe? really intense. Yeah. Like, like what? Botox or something? Yeah, what are you self-injecting? Yeah. He said it really helped when the pain was particularly unbearable. <laughs> He it on, could be like a. He would also then go on like 18 hour FIFA 09 binges. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why though, how those are connected, mm. but there he goes. <laughs> but uh, Tom's falling asleep. Yeah, uh, my dad had to take stuff like that for his knee pain. Yeah, there, uh, there, is, there is a drug. It starts with like an E, I think. I can't remember. Uh, did you do this, sir? What? Did you read this, or? Yes. He said it really helped in the pack. It was particularly unbearable. It was that bad, huh? He must have been injecting some sort of painkiller directly into his back then. That would make it even worse. Yes. Eh. My father said his back pain could knock him off his feet. I know the feeling. I've experienced some pretty severe back pain of my own. Well, we can't have you throwing your back out in court. So why don't you take a vial? Uh... Oh, uh, no thanks. I hear your body builds up a tolerance to that sort of thing. Thank you, Dr. Rafa, I yeah. guess. For prescribing Never. super yeah. powerful painkillers. Yeah, say it. Say it, yeah. Never share medications oh, or no. needles. Especially yeah. needles. Always it, it's use... nice of her to offer, but yeah. like it's also super illegal and bad, and don't yeah. do that. Yeah, don't do that. Unless it's like over the counter, and you know what oh, it yeah. is. A, a Tylenol. And yeah. you're Tylenol. giving it to someone who also knows what they're like yeah. allergic to and stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you didn't want them. Uh, shit. I'm going straight to a chiropractor as soon as I get home. Some mm. people say chiropractors don't do anything. Yeah, do um, say you that. should probably start a physiotherapist. Mm. There's more science behind it. What's this? Je suis belle! Maybe he's born with it. Maybe it's Je suis belle! 
<laughs> Never Such thought a, I'd see this brand again. A catchy and easy to say jingle. Yeah. <laughs> it appears to be a sample of some sort of spray on hair color. Color, jet black. I wonder if Ingo is going gray. Here, Edgeworth. Maybe you can use it. I like my natural hair color just fine. Thank you very much. I, I got my hair cut. Now you can't see my grays anymore. Ooh. Like, yeah, look at that. Oh, are we going back there? I guess we're going back there. Oh, man, we can't address these. Oh, no. Thank you, Serenity. Oh, what's up, Slowbo? Did you guys hear that Luigi's Mansion comes out on November 18th? Yeah. It's a launch title for the GameCube, and I'm just <sighs> stoked to finally have a reason to buy one. Ooh. Luigi's Mansion 3 is coming out. It looks on so On October good. 31st. Yeah, it looks so good. Yeah. Oh, what a perfect launch date. I know. Thanks, Lepo. Ooh, hey, JBD, JBD, what up? Wait, hold on. Okay. I thought Lepo made those for himself and didn't sell them. And that's why he was in debt, right? And why he killed the Alderman. Oh. Maybe it was like a special royalty edition? I don't know. Yeah, it's very odd. Maybe, uh, I was hoping uh, we get some explanation for it. Yeah, no, maybe it, it yeah. Bam, DVD. Well, if we can't open it, we can't open it. For now, let's continue our investigation and come back with this, with, to this dilemma later. You right, Jatra. Oakley dokely. Investigate Inga's private quarters. Fuck. Here's our main. I guess maybe we should leave. Maybe we talk oh, maybe to Rafe. Yeah, maybe I have a. Uh, oh, she talked to her about the combination. Yeah. Oh, we have a lot to talk about. Mm -hmm. Barb Ted. Your benevolence. I, the royal priestess of Kurain. Uh, shall share my thoughts on the abduction. Beautiful. You will. Listen carefully. For such opportunities, do not come often. Okay. Yes, of course. We'd be grateful to hear anything you could share. My father was very likely seeking to obtain the Founder's Orb. Uh-huh. But it was not for the purpose of a coup d'etat. Uh-huh. It was all for my sake. Oh. For your sake. The Founder's Orb is capable of bestowing great spiritual power. My father truly believed that. <clears throat> and he wanted that power to be mine. I haven't finished my training, and I still can't channel spirits. He was doing it for me. Right. I see. Well, do you understand what he did or why he did it? I do. But it doesn't change the fact that Minister Ingo was a kidnapper. I'm, I'm, <laughs> but I guess you don't believe he is, do you? Uh, new information is sure to surface upon further investigation. S -s Suffice to say, he did it all for me. End of story. Is he really trying to obtain the orb for Rafa? Somehow, I doubt it. Speaking of powers, I wonder if Rafa will be performing the divination seance tomorrow. I should probably ask her about that. Oh no. Oh, believe me, I did. Not king blah, 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 kidnapping. Blah. And it's PK. just Enjoy. forceful one-sided friendship with no intent to unfriendship. Your benevolence, I noticed Nana isn't with you today. I know not where she has gone. I have not spoken with her since this morning. I assume she must be quite busy today. I did catch a glimpse of her a little t after two o'clock. I tried calling out to her, but she went off somewhere again. A little after two? That's about an hour before the murder. Indeed. Of all the times for this to happen, she normally comes to me the moment I call her name. I know it's hard to believe, but even nannies have lives, you know. Even nannies have nope. lives? Incorrect. Your inability to find her after the murder is slightly alarming. I wonder if her absence is related to today's incident somehow. Do you think she was unwittingly caught up in them? Who knows? At the very least, I don't think she was at the scene of the crime. 
Nana. I hope she's all right. Rafa seems really worried for Nana. Lily is correct. Go on. Ew. Whoa! Yay, what up? Thank you so heckin' much! Hey guys, how are you? G good. I'm happy to be experiencing this game for the first time with you guys. Thanks to you, I also bought a new 2DS XL. I can't wait to see you guys solve these mysteries! Oh, oh awesome! You. And congrats, it's a really good little console. I really like the 2DS XL. Mm -hmm. I, I think that console. it's really nice looking. Yeah, I think it's a well-designed, smart little thing. Like, I'd, I'd consider it if I didn't already have a 3DS. Right? But yeah, 3DS is a really great console even though it's like, you know, at the end, there's so many good games that are exclusively on the 3DS, so it's always a always a good purchase. Including in Chain of opinion. Memories and Recoded. Kind of. They're fine. Kingdom Hearts top door. Uh, but I'm just amazed that it, this console went on for as long as it did. Oh, it's it shows awesome that it's, console. It shows that it's a good console. Yeah. I take it you'll be conducting tomorrow's divination seance. Who else if not I? Ooh. Yeah, really default. Nice. Good point. Thing is, divination seances are all about what the victims experience in their final moments. So tomorrow, Rafa will experience her own father's death exactly as it happened. That's more than anyone should ever have to deal with. Maybe I should show her this photo to prepare her for it. <laughs> Do have you, you really see to... Apollo's dead dad? <laughs> Do you really have to go through with the sands tomorrow? Oh shit, sorry, this is your dead dad. Uh, My bad. Wrong photo. There's really no one else. What about just calling the whole thing off? It is not as if... It is not as if I'm doing this because I want to. No? Uh, uh, never mind. I misspoke. The divination sands is very important duty of the royal priestess, and it is... Uh, the one I intend to fulfill. There's that word. <laughs> Duty. Your benevolence. As crown princess, you are destined to rule this kingdom one day. That means there will be many things that you alone must determine. Things like how to keep your people happy, and what is true and what is false. And most importantly, what role you must play therein. <laughs> I wonder if I'm even up for the task. Sorry, this is sad, but Zero got me with the poopa. Oh. I was not gonna read his poopa. <laughs> uh, poopa? But I will. <laughs> got me. Fuck. I'm, I'm, I'm an adult. <laughs> Performing the divination sounds is very important for a priestess. But duty or not, it's a heavy burden for someone so young. Even worse, she'll be forced to watch her father's murder. Will it be a weight too heavy for her to bear? Find out next time on Ace Attorney Z. Ace Attorney Z. Your benevolence, has Nana served you long? Yes, she has been at my beck and call for as long as I can remember. I have heard she even cared for me as an infant right down to changing my diapers. Your diapers? It almost sounds like she could be your mother. Indeed, but that is a simple fact of life when your mother is busy being queen. Nana takes care of my every need. She is my teacher in all things as well. Rafa's pool of knowledge seems rather lopsided in some respects. Could it be the result of Nana's teachings? Nana, could it be that my trusted attendant has come to dislike me? Now that I think about it, perhaps I've been acting rather spoiled as of late. Oh, no, it couldn't be that. <laughs> Definitely not. I'm sure she'll be back. Yes. I suppose Nina would never truly abandon me. Upon her return, I will do something nice for her. Perhaps she'd like a shoulder massage. <laughs> like he's like someone's yeah. trying to take my job. Yeah. I thought you were going to do a body massage. A body massage. Nina wants a body she massage. She wants a body massage. No, get away from me. And yet, I can't shake the feeling that Nana's connected to this case in some way. Mm-hmm. The moment she was missing, I was like, oh, mastermind revealed. I'm really beginning to wonder what's inside that safe. Any idea what the combination might be, Your Benevolence? None whatsoever. It looks like a four-digit combo lock. So maybe it's a date. But it's probably not anything that would be easy to guess. 
Well, let's try some dates and see what happens. I wonder what date Inga would use as a combination. Oh, but get down! Just wanted to say sorry for not donating much. Never be sorry Ooh, cool. for it. Uh, teeth problems, me too. Public clinic book appointments over a month from now, and I just want to go to a private clinic, even if it ends up costing me a thousand plus dollars. No membership discounts in private clinics, but health first. Yeah, health damn. First. Well, take Scare it. Scare you yourself. Know. Yeah. Whew. Different all over the world. world. Yeah. yeah. Um, the so date I, the DC act was oh, enacted. Yeah, it I, would be Rafa's birthday. I know it's definitely Rafa's birthday, but we're gonna we're gonna just we're gonna we're gonna roll on oh, down the memes here. He was a good father. How about the date the Defense Culpability Act was enacted? Do you know when that was, Your Benevolence? Nana, Nana. Your Benevolence. Whisper, whisper, whisper. <laughs> oh my God. Yes, of course. Oh my God, that's amazing. I believe the date would be June 14th. <laughs> really, Edgeworth? Is whispering in the ears of elites the secret to your success? He doesn't look pleased oh with God. himself, though. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's give it a try. 0614. Nope, that's not it. Time to try something else. I wonder what date Inga would use as a combination. How about your parents' anniversary? Hmm... I have not the faintest idea of when it is. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't, huh? It's December 11th. <laughs> cool. How in the world do you know that fact, Edgeworth? Hm. I don't. I simply deduced it using elementary school level logic. Oh my god. Though I doubt you'd grasp how I arrived at my conclusion, so I'll save my breath. There's no way you didn't use some kind of superpower to come up with that. <laughs> I wonder if that's like a reference to investigations it and it's whole like, like it is. Yeah. It's whole like prepares. I use common sense and everyone's like, wow. No. Oh, wow, common sense. Stupid Edgeworth and his superpowers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, here goes. One, two, one, one. Oh, no good. Won't open. Let's try another number, shall we? I wonder what date Inga would use as a combination. When's your birthday, your benevolence? <laughs> you are wasting your time. It could not possibly be my birthday. Oh, come on. It's worth a shot. Fine. It's December 24th. Huh. Christmas Eve. Well, hey, let's give it a try. One, two, two, four. And it's actually not about being her birthday. He just loves Christmas. Loves Christmas. <gasps> ah! It it opened! It did? Yep. And it looks like the bottom safe was a fake. Something meant to mislead would-be thieves, no doubt. Still, it was rendered quite ineffective by his use of such an easily guessed combination. Why, Father? Why my birth date? Oh, and it, his chest opens up. Because she's his heart. Yeah. No, it's just the largest cavity in the bust, you sentimental weirdos. Oh. <laughs> largest cavity in, your, in his teeth because he's so sweet. Okay, let's see what's in here. Uh, pictures of Rafa. Plots of world domination. <laughs> oh, picture of me. <laughs> That's how he knew how I looked. Hmm, looks like there's a letter or something. Let's see. Dear Father, I wanted to wish you a happy birthday. Oh my god. You're always so kind, and I love you very much. Oh my god. I hope you live to be a hundred years old. Love, Rafa. Oh my god! It's the sweetest! I... I wrote this to my father when I was eight years old. Father, why would you hold on to something so childish and stupid? There are some other papers in here. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> Garon assassination <laughs> plan. Right next to Rafa's heartfelt yeah, letter. Yeah. Written by Inga, age eight. <laughs> hey, you heard the prediction here first, folks. <laughs> oh my god. Like, it starts off like a total Yzma plot, too. Once I poison the queen, the throne will be mine. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the poison. The poison for the queen. <laughs> the queen's poison. The queen poison. <laughs> Once I poison the queen, the throne will be mine. The spiritual power I obtain from the treasure will back up my claim. 
In the meantime, the secret police are to keep a close watch on Garun. Uh, this, this is the plan for the coup d'etat. What? Coup d'etat. Give me that. Coup d'etat. Uh, I, I don't understand. It seems Justice Minister Inga was plotting the assassination of the Queen. This... this can't be true. Father would never harm Mother. I also just can't understand why you would write it out so plainly like that. Like, oh. I totally get for the game, but, like, right? as an actual, like, person doing that, like, I would definitely keep that up here right. and never materialize it into no. anything. No. And especially... If you did, it would be like because you need or infinite written code detail. or something. Yeah. Or, or infinite detail because yeah, yeah. that's just like yeah, this it's is like, a general it's like an concept. assassination shopping list. Yeah, uh, poison the queen. Check. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, obtain founders orb. Check. Yeah. Spy uh, on her until then. Check. check. I uh, should be queen now. <laughs> <laughs> Have a decent lunch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Check. <laughs> Poor Rafa. This has to come as a terrible shock. Oh. What's this? There's a photo in here too. Look at this photo. Yo, yo, wow. is that Nana? Hmm, it's of a woman and a baby. I wonder who they are. That definitely looks like Nayuda's mother, though. Oh, we. Because I mean, like, if I had to imagine female Nayuda, that is what female Nayuda would look like. You correct. don't think that Dirk did a dorky with the queen, do you? No, I think that Dirk's not really Nayuda's father. And that the for maybe I don't know who I don't know. Uh, There's definitely some daddy mommy baby yeah. drama going on yeah. here that don't make no sense. Yeah. What if Inga is actually Apollo's father? <laughs> <laughs> and that photograph is of a young Inga. And he dyed his hair. Oh, wait, unless that's Amara. This Amara? Yeah. That's probably Amara. Yeah. yeah. Anyways. Hmm. It's of a woman and a baby. I wonder who they are. On the far left, there's a law book with yeah. the mark of the Defiant Dragon branded on it. Yep. Oh, okay. Oh, so, oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, last okay. last oh, God. episode, though, we found. I don't. I, I thought it was in the episode before. Uh, Dirk was married to Amara. Oh, I figured that out just now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. sorry. I just yeah, want to confirm that, it, that you are correct. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, I'm that like, oh, Dirk you it was married to Amara. Yeah. Said Madi is his baby. Mm -hmm. He's the prince. She was supposed to be queen. Oh, my God. And, oh, is Inga his brother? Maybe. Oh, maybe. I don't know, the whole thing is just royally. Yeah, there's a lot of... This is a telenovela? Oh my god, yes. Wait! Th th that's... Your benevolence? How? How can this be? Grip. Princess Rafa! She's looking incredibly pale. Your benevolence, are you all right? All right? How can I be all right? Huh? All that I have believed. It was all lies. I'm afraid I don't follow. What the heck is she talking about? Um, can I ask who the woman in this picture is? How should I know? Seems I didn't know anything that was going on. Doesn't look like I'm going to get much uh, more out of her while she's like this. Woman's photo. Mother. Huh? I must ask my mother about the secret she is hiding. Um, what secret? I must go. Goodbye. No, no, wait, no, no, I really- We have so oh, many questions for Edward, you. Edward, stop her! Wait! What was that all about? It's like her mind was off somewhere else. This really is like a soap opera. It so and is. And I love it, because literally, guess who has amnesia? <gasps> Dirk. Yeah. 
Yeah. And that's always a plot line. It is. And whenever I was young, I'd always make up soap opera plots because Ooh. it was just a thing I used to love doing. And mm. it was always, and then they get amnesia because everybody gets amnesia in soap operas. And then yeah. they always end up marrying yeah. someone that they didn't intend to, their enemy, yeah. usually. Usually. And then their like, actual partner's like, no, we were supposed to be in love. And it's like, I don't know who you are. But then they, right at the wedding, you know, they come in and they're like, wait. And they play a song or they say a phrase. And then oh. it's like, they're crying. And it's like, I remember everything now. I love you, Samantha. Uh, and then you, uh... Tiffany's like, No, I was supposed to marry Chadwick. Mm. And that's why you're so good at writing fan fiction. Uh. Yes. Because I used to do it all, all the time. Yeah, if you uh, if you ever forget to like write a character backstory or something for D&D, &D, just mm. like, yeah, so this is me and I have amnesia. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just make it up as you go. I, I remember. Fun. I kind of want yeah. to do Amnesia, that. and you're, you're also a pathological liar. Yes. <laughs> so you just keep changing your story. <laughs> yeah. It appears this photo really upset her. I wonder who the lady in the picture is. Ah. Stop, Shadow! Come back here! <laughs> oh, the world's most annoying alarm clock. Hmm. Wait. That sounds like... Albie and Shadow. That's odd. Commoners aren't normally allowed in this area. I wonder what's a foot. A foot is the thing that's at the end of your leg. Thank you. You're welcome. Honey. By the way, I hate you. <laughs> Please don't talk to me ever again. Don't ask stupid questions unless you want stupid answers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought that my teacher said there were no stupid questions. Your teacher was stupid. Oh. She probably taught you that like that uh, uh, positive thingies and negative thingies float around the middle of a thingy, <laughs> right? In a yeah. circular kind of thing, like an orbit. Yeah. That's wrong. Ooh. Lies. They exist yeah. in a cloud. Ooh. They don't tell you that, though, because they're like, oh, you're in grade nine. Uncle you can't Uncle. handle the truth. Can't handle it. My, uh, yeah, my teacher says all the time, there's no stupid questions. Only stupid people like you. Oh. Uh, no. yeah. I really yeah. carried that through. Made yeah. sense. Yeah. <laughs> Held on to it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Ah! Edgeworth! No! Dun dun dun. <laughs> oh my God, oh! This is the best sprite ever. I need a shirt. I need this on a shirt, and on the bottom it just says pause. Oh <gasps> yes! <laughs> Like a t-shirt with the cravat uh, and then the dog hanging uh, on it. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is that not a Pause. thing? Right. We should make that a thing. I might make that a thing. I hope one of you has a good explanation for this. No, I'm so sorry. Ah, Albie. No, Shadow, bad dog, leave the man for, for, for really the, the thing with you alone. Oh. If you would kindly detach your dog from my cravat. Cravat? Was there a T on it? Right, right away, sir. Just hold still, and. And? Ah. Uh, uh, the first one, Sagasi. Because it's a Jaws joke. No. Oh, stop pulling like that. You'll only stretch the fabric. Oh, Shadow, let go of this Chamlet. Mm, well, this isn't working. I'll just have to pull harder then. One, two. Wait, w what are you? Three. Come on. No. I'm imagining he's getting super. Oh, I need a Oh. Choked. <sighs> Were you trying to kill me? I'm really sorry, mister. I wasn't prepared to do all of that. <laughs> no. Your dog has a habit of attacking frilly things like that. <laughs> Maybe for his sake, he should... Ah. Maybe for his shake, uh, shake. Maybe for shake, his sake, shake, he should shake, stick to more traditional that. targets like cars or his tail, or traffic. 
Man, the blue text is hard to read for sure. Mm -hmm. What's worse, he snuck in here again and stole some weird looking hat. <gasps> Nana. Nana. I don't know what to do anymore. Bad dog, you're a very bad dog. <gasps> oh my God. Ooh. Wait a second. I've seen that hat before. I have thoughts. Oh yeah. I have thoughts. Be gone. Oh no. Nana is Shadow. the frilly hat. We all the different ideas. Oh. Okay, that's weird. One of us will be right. By the way, have you seen my badge? Oh, that's an attorney's badge. I've studied all about it. Allow me to explain. There's a reason why the badge is shaped like a sunflower. You know how sunflowers always run to face the sun, the source of their well-being? Well, lawyers are like that. They will chase after anything uh, that will make them money. What? I guess people hate lawyers in your country too, huh? Um, where did you get your information from again? A proud sermon chief prosecutor Payne gave in the middle of a bazaar the other day. Mmm. Ah. Uh, lawyers already have a bad enough time here without his lies. That's funny. All right. It's been a good day. It's been a good day. <laughs> Albie, would you like some, uh, would you like some painkillers? Good life. <laughs> what do you know about these, Albie? Sorry. I don't know anything about modern medicine. Do you see how we, we are? I I'm the worst tour guide ever. No, no, no. It's oh. my fault for randomly whipping it out and <laughs> asking you about it. <laughs> Yeah. Don't worry, I'll study hard and uh, so I'll be ready to answer all your questions next time. Ah, now I feel like a jerk. Oh. All right. Shadu. Shadwick. Oh my god, do you think that Nina actually is Shadow, though? Shadow. What that Shadow? I'm gonna put these up on the board. Thanks for being here, guys. Dean. Bang. But yeah, that was that was fun. Definitely uh, the longest investigation we've ever had in yeah. this game. I like that the investigations were pretty streamlined. I if I I think it was yeah, I think it was dual destinies that definitely had some lengthy investigations, like at the school and stuff like that. I don't yes. know. I just remember that being like, wow, we are really covering some ground here. Yeah, we are we've been here for a long time. Long time. But yeah, no, this one's been pretty uh bing bang boom. Uh, no, Justin Tom was just so sick that his hair fell out in uniform. Yeah, funny joke. Oh, thanks for being here, Traveler. Uh, <laughs> uh funny joke. <laughs> nah, funny joke. He says to himself. Yeah, funny joke. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna be playing Dong and Rump in an hour, so we're gonna be carrying on with that. A lot of fun, cool things going on there. It's awesome. <laughs> How many Thanks, likes you know. are on the video? How many? It's your last chance. prologue oh i don't know about that pkmn maybe um i don't know we're probably gonna have a chat about ace attorney and uh we'll probably do a twitch stream i think we're gonna do the persona 4 golden uh twitch stream after dance so stay tuned for that i'm really looking forward to playing persona 4 dance yeah should be good yeah persona 5 dance was a-okay to stream in japanese in yeah japanese? i don't think it'll be any different well, we'll be able to understand what they're saying. Which in is English. nice. Yeah. If we have time, we'll play Persona 5 Dance again, but I don't know. A lot of games to play, so. So many. What is this month's raffle prize? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? Yeah, it's a mystery at the moment. We're definitely going to be giving away a comfy Nanny shirt for uh, uh, the second draw, as it is. Uh, 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 Nian Lexus. Ooh, when we went to uh, AX, yeah, yeah. mystery boxes were all the thing. They were. Like, everywhere was selling uh, mystery boxes, so. Oh, so we just say it's a it's a mystery, uh, but it's related to something. Yeah, yeah, it's a mystery, and we'll you'll get it. That'd be cool. If we actually send them a mystery box. Too. Oh yeah, like, <laughs> we're like, what did you get in it? And they're like, I got Funko Pop figures. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, PK Man got a blanket, so that's pretty Ooh. cool. Yeah, I think it was a uh, My Hero Academia blanket that looked really nice. If I remember correctly, so that's pretty cool. But yeah. It's all about the surprise, right? And they're reasonably priced, I guess, sometimes. What? Zeodyne, that's awesome. Oh, jealous. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, oh, oh. oh. 
But anyways, Good. we'll see you soon. In another goodbye. Bye. Oh, Sky got Steggy out of one? Oh, Aww. okay. Oh, yeah. That's where Steggy came from. I love it. Okay. Bye. I love you. See you at Danganronpa. Bye. Bye. Ba 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 